The ending of this episode. Ooh, wee! Yo, what's poppin' people? Cold with Star Green back with you guys in the video today. Your first time finding this channel or anything, you guys make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, like the video. Yes, today we're talking about episode four of Snowfall. Literally, I forgot that Snowfall is even coming out today. It was like freaking like five minutes before the show came out. And I was like, oh, wait, I got a show to review. Now, um, I do got to talk about some couple things that you guys might not want to hear. You know what I'm saying? Some things that happen in the episode. episode so it might get a little bit dark here and there. But uh, first thing I want to say, bro, is I, I haven't said this before with the episode. But uh, God damn it, bro. When it comes to this freaking girl, uh, Wanda, right here, man, somebody needs to get this girl a goddamn Emmy. She acts like a cra she acts crazier and crazier every goddamn episode. She really acts like a you know what I'm saying. So just for her to just keep pulling oh whoa, just to keep pulling this role off is just phenomenal to me when it comes to her Wanda. I finally got her name right because I ain't been getting her name right for weeks. But uh, you know what I noticed throughout this whole entire episode? It's not even that the end, end, ending of the episode really showcased this to me. I noticed this like a little bit, a little bit through. But I feel like this was Leon's episode, and not that it was just Leon's episode. It was the episode. You know how we know Leon, man? He's gonna shoot somebody and not care, right? But throughout this episode, I'm gonna give you guys examples. Throughout this episode, we really got the emotional side of Leon, you know? Um, when he even, I'll talk about the end of the episode in a little bit, but really even the first time Wanda gets shot, right? He goes to the hospital with her, right? You get that emotional side of him and you never really get to see that. So I, that that part was like, okay, we, we're getting something new. I'm, they're giving him more, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word to say. But they're like they're, they're they're doing more with him. He's not he's not one noted, right? That's why that's what I want to say. He's not a one note character anymore. They they're giving him emotions. There was some other word I put down. I freaking I forgot it. But yeah, I really liked this episode when it came to Leon. Uh, now people were talking about people sent me stuff like, "Yo, bro, someone's gonna get shot in this episode," and stuff like that. Well, we ended up figuring out who got shot. Now it's Wanda. Wanda will be all right because you know whenever crackheads get shot, they somehow have super abilities and they all right. Uh, but honestly, people kept texting me saying that the body girl was getting up to his body girl ended up dying, which he didn't. It was actually another friend of his that ended up getting shot also. But it's crazy to now see that Leon is now in a war. He's also got he literally got thrown in to a war with Scully. So I wonder how that's gonna end up going. So is Leon gonna, especially now, gonna be like, yo, bro, Frank, let's work, let's work together again. And they go after Scully? I wonder what they're gonna do with that, man. That's kinda got me excited for it. Now, um, back to staying on Leon. You guys, I said it earlier, uh, but I guess we can talk about the ending of the episode, man. Um, if you guys have not seen it, click away. Um, but at the end of the episode, like I said, they were showing a lot of personality with Leon, showing his emotional side. But that ending of the episode, I can't show it because of issues. But that that, that ending gets dark, y'all. He realizes, well, honestly, I'm not even going to put this one on Leon, though, bro. Dude was shooting at Leon first, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to shoot back if he's shooting at you. So he starts shooting him. He ends up killing the guy that was shoot that he was shooting at, right? And in the back seat was a goddamn mother and child and a little daughter. And the daughter ended up dying. Or that's what we think is gonna end up happening. And just to see that look on Leon's face, I was like, yo, ah, bro, I'm sick for my dog Leon in this one. God damn. But like I said, I'm I've, I've always said this before when it comes to Snowfall, which I always um, give this show props for. They can make all these little side characters, not even just Franklin, but everybody else, Aaron Rodgers, Gustavo, all the other characters, uh, Man Boy, Scully, they can make all these characters interesting. And I love that about Snowfall. There's nothing boring. You, you get no cast member that they throw in the show that is boring and useless. Everyone has a role to play, and I... I 
I, I, I always, I'll always commend this show on that, man. I always will commend this show. Um, I guess we talk about the other thing that happened in the episode also. It wasn't just that Leon, but it was Leon's episode. Let's be honest. Um, but there's another thing I wanted to say, man. Um, my boy, my homeboy. Um, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. My homeboy. Uh, and this is something I realized too. Uh, when it comes to Snowfall. Cause I remember people were telling me they was comparing Franklin to Tyreek and Power. And I'm like, look, bro, I'm taking Franklin all day when it comes to this goddamn drug dealing and stuff like that. And you know why? It's because every episode you just see how smart Franklin really is. There's a point where he's talking to I always call him Aaron Rodgers. I don't know his freaking name. But he's talking to him and he's like, so do you still need me? You know, like like he's starting to realize a couple of things, right? So I just, I love that about uh, Franklin's character art. That is, bruh, phenomenal. Bruh, the writing, I've always said, the writing on this show is top notch. Like, I'm not even playing around, joking, like, just saying to be saying it. No, the writing on this show is top notch. Um, I guess we're talking about one more thing. Um, I really felt, well, I put this in my notes and then that last scene happened. But uh, I really felt like this episode more or less was story driven more than anything but then that last two minutes came into play before i even you know i already wrote it early but i really felt like the, the just this whole entire episode was more about stories driven um uh, about and also about the story progression that's what i wanted to say um but you know what and all in all in all damn that's a cheap ass hot dog i'm looking at this right here bro that is a cheap ass 30 cents for a hot dog 65 for a hamburger bro where is this place at god damn it i'm trying to i'm just bro i just paid five dollars for a hot dog the other day bro where is where the hell is this place at holy crap i'm just looking at i just looking at that while i was over here i'm sorry i just got kind of dragged bro what 75 cents for a cheeseburger okay all right i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm getting carried away i'm getting carried away but you know to have an episode not really focus on action even though it kind of was the first it's crazy the first two minutes focus on a little bit of action last two minutes was focus on action right but just to have that is pretty much your only points and your episode still be interesting and and because the story keeps progressing Man, I love Snowfall, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I love Snowfall. Um, I want to know you guys' thoughts on this episode. Did you guys like it? Did you guys like it as much as I did? Did you guys not? Uh, you put it down in the comment section down below. Y'all first time finding your channel. Y'all hit the subscribe button on the video. Hey, we'll see you guys. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see you guys in the next one. Up, peace. God damn it.